I like to put the little compass on there so you know what north is. <laughs> Make sure you know. It's a legit map, y'all. Welcome back. Dust the Gamers playing Bionic Commando. If you like what we're doing, hit that little subscribe. If, if you don't like what we're doing, still hit the subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. It's in hate mail. We'll probably reply back on our fake <laughs> so account. If you don't like what we're doing, the worst thing, you could, I mean, the best thing you could possibly do is to subscribe to us so that more people can see how terrible we are. Eh? And eh? we'll, yeah. Yeah, using your brain. Using your brain. And we'll reply Spread with our, the hate, y'all. We'll reply with our fake Twitter accounts we use to troll people. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're Kevin Durant, like and subscribe three times, please. We know you have a lot of accounts. <laughs> uh, we might even say something nice. All I know is uh, following Kevin Durant on uh, on Twitter just became a lot more profitable for us. We might get three or four followers back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kevin Durant ain't worth shit. <laughs> Fight us! <laughs> <laughs> Me. I can't believe he admitted to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny because after we had a conversation about this Kevin Durant nonsense, we were like, oh yeah, the best thing to do, everybody says, is to not say anything at all. And then we turn around and Kevin Durant like says something. It's like, never mind. Oh, fuck. So, I'm going to talk about this for a second. Yeah, fuck it. We need to talk about I mean, it. We now. might as well brought, we brought it up. So. KD. In the middle of the night the other night, Kevin Durant, gaga, gaga. somebody tweeted at him something, it was just some random generic hate mail, and he replied back in third person from his personal, like, verified Twitter account, the reason why Kevin Durant, and he said Kevin Durant, didn't stay in Oklahoma City was he was surrounded by no talent except for Russell Westbrook. Which I did kind of like, at least he... <laughs> I love everybody keeps latching on that. Well, at least he says something good about Westbrook. Well, that kind of helps I, the Thunder in a way. I don't, like, I don't think the... it helps Kevin Durant because he, he was going to... You can't really say no talent and ignore the fact that Westbrook was like MVP last year. Right, but... Oh, shit. I think it helps calm the I fact almost that... almost died there. That was fucking close as Yeah, fuck. that was crazy. <laughs> I think it helps calm the fact that the whole beef. But yeah. I, I don't, I don't buy into it just because you can't say there's no talent there. I'm not. You're lying through your teeth. Right, right. So, so continue. Yeah. Um. So he posts all of this stuff, it. and he posts it in the third person on his personal account. Everyone's like, and people have thought before that Kevin Durant Rapid used fire on or something. He clicked it probably more than once. No, I, that per time I purposely hit it slowly. I think it's controller set to have rapid fire on it. Oh well, no, sorry. Maybe. So, people have long suspected that Kevin Durant had fake accounts. Yeah. That he used to attack people. Well, it's because he's a fake fucking little bitch. Fake people, fake so, whiny bitches like him have fake accounts. They're like, well, we think that it proves Ain't that... Ain't nobody else going to defend him, he's got to defend himself. It proves that Kevin Durant has fake accounts. Well, they kind of well, they found him, the and on then, that. then they fa they basically backwards hacked his. Like, I don't want to say hacked because no one hacked his accounts. <laughs> um, they found his his personal Instagram account, and that's not an uncommon thing. Every major athlete has a personal Instagram account that's private. That's for them, their family, their friends, and then they have you know their like business Instagram account. I don't remember if I went into six or not. Oh, I don't think so. I think we just beat three. <laughs> oh, no. Whatever. Um, Rapid fire. And he was using that account to, like, attack, like, high school kids and stuff. Oh, yeah, this one's cool. You actually have to have the bazooka to get here. It's one of the first places in the game that blocks you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's cool. I like that they're little lights. Like the, uh, the things you hit onto. They're like spotlights. Right. This is another one of those places that you can kind of do cool shit. If you fucking don't get hit by a random ass metal ball. Fuck! Fuck you! So, everyone was saying the best course of action for him is to not do or say anything. Oh, especially I mean, with... I like the battleships. Especially with the climate of right now, it's like... 
if if you don't say anything, I just want to forget about the motherfucker at this point. Honestly, I wish I wish this upcoming year we could focus on Paul George and Westbrook and not every fucking Golden State game being the biggest thing in the world. Right. I, it's not gonna happen. People are still gonna be pissed off and angry when he comes to town. But in, in my view, the perfect Thunder season this season would be a really great season focused on Paul George and Westbrook. But, and that's it. Like you, that would be like no like focus on when the cupcake comes to town. But you know what though? And I love all the cupcake stuff. I'm all about it. But I'm just it's like I want to move on to our great players we got now because we should have a really great season. Teams. There we go. And I like this. The right one. Need a rival, and now Oklahoma City and Golden State yeah, have a legitimate rivalry. Now. I don't really feel like Westbrook did well with the rival thing last year. No, no, no. I'm not disagreeing with that. But as from a business standpoint and a yeah, like a thing, Oklahoma City and the Thunder will forever be rivals from now on. Oklahoma City and the Thunder. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. Yeah. I had to point it out. Oklahoma City and Golden State will forever be rivals. This is how rivalries start. That was nice. Yeah, now that I finally figured it out after six attempts. Oh, God, the music in this game. Ow! You are not doing good with those. But yeah, so he admitted today that he actually didn't. Everyone's like, he should just not say anything. There's so much going on right now with the hurricane and the. Well, I think uh, he had a media day coming up, and people he was, were keep well, asking. He was at it, a. So. Well, what it was is he they was had actually media days on on Fridays there, like automatic media right, days. Right. Well, he was at a tech conference too today. Yeah. A San Francisco tech conference. I mean, that's one thing about going to Golden State that was going to be different. You're not no longer able to fucking just hide your media. Oh god, that's fun. Yeah, because the Golden State's have, like you have to talk to your people. We don't care. You no, know, they're gonna keep coming at you every week. Oh. Well, that in Oklahoma City, like, babies you. They they hide you. They'll hide you and be like, no, you don't. They don't have media availability. Ah. You have to like climb this up and then launch and then grab it. I think. Yee. Woo! Got to that hard level. This is rough. Do, 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 do. So it's the entire game, though. It's like that's what it is. So, like, to like beat the game. Uh huh. What is technically beating it? Beating like a certain stage or? Yeah, there's a final stage. Any other video game back then? There's a final stage, and you you get to it, and you kill a final boss. It's easier. It, it seems hard, but like you keep trying. It's a good game for people who can persevere with that past stuff. Like, but it you basically only have to do like one or two great actions in a row most of the time. Yeah, I can see that. And then once you once you figure it out, you're good. What the fuck just happened there? That was weird. I grabbed the thing and it just said nope. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like... I like those little robot guys. That's an RC car. I would like to have a little version of those. Seems like it'd be easy to build with a 3D printer. Yeah. <laughs> it kind just, of just looks put like... put it a, on top of an RC car. I mean, it kind of just looks like a generic RC car. He's got a little nose on him. Hey, drone warfare from the 80s. I was actually about to admit, <laughs> say that. You were still mumbling, so... They, this game already knew drone warfare was going to be a kind of thing. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> ah, fuck. Shit. I was watching a thing that said a lot of the, like, people were like, uh, basically how, like, they're, like, saying Star Trek, like, predicted the future and they're like no it's the opposite basically created it yeah yeah well I mean that's sort of the same for all of nerd stuff 
um, you create the fantasy. It's like VR. You kind of create the fantasy, then people work towards it. Right. VR is very much because of that. Oh, God. This would be a good time for save states. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh. Does this not have a save state? Yeah, but I ain't doing save states. It's whack shit. It's whack shit. I got 80 fucking continues. I mean, well, I mean it would be just if we had this, like, time or something. Well, the problem in the, uh, using save states in a game like this is you gotta get you gotta get better at it like it's the most most of my problems come from just getting the uh, hand-eye coordination getting the motions down in my head and then the shit becomes second nature so really if you if you watch me save state I'm just gonna push myself further in the game before I'm actually naturally getting better at it ow man this game does the one thing I can say like uh, negatively about this game was that is the it, the cut to cut whenever you do something wrong is real harsh. Well, I, I think it helps to get back into it faster, though. Yeah, no, no, for so, sure. Because you don't want to die and then have, like, a fucking really nah, like, long fucking moment where you're like, shit. Right, it's just, I'm just I saying I should have been grabbing these one-ups the whole time, though. I'm just saying the way it does, it's really harsh on your eyes. Yeah, it doesn't bug me. My eyes are really as sensitive to that type of stuff. <laughs> Got baby eyes. I've actually been thinking about buying the. Oh God! Don't say it. No, not the. They have <laughs> some that are gun. They're, they're kind of like the gunner glasses, but they're clear. They're just Those like things are nonsense. Just regular glasses. Nonsense glasses. They're they just are. like regular looking glasses. Like you want to know that they're uh, anything other than glasses. Fuck this guy. I, I like reading, his drones crash. I was down. reading because I saw them on, like, there was one, a pair on Amazon that's pretty cheap, and they're like, why are most of these yellow and yours are clear? And they're like, because you don't actually need the yellow. They're like, they're like, the amount of blue light you're actually filtering out is not that high. <laughs> it's a really James Bond sounding theme in this level. Yeah. Da -na -na. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, and like, uh, when they did the Metroid music, mm -hmm. they were going for like a swashbuckler type theme in the, uh, sequel. Mm-hmm. Kind of make it like an adventure. That's why I changed up the sound. For Damn Metroid it. 2, or? Yeah, the Game Boy one. I don't know why I thought of that. It just, let's talk about the James Bond theme and all of a sudden. I was like, reminded of that. Honestly, I haven't even played the game with the sound up loud enough to really hear the music that much. Well, you're playing the remake, too, and the remake's going for standard oh. Metroid music. Yeah, that's true. The, like, rapidly going up, like, kind of mashing your button feels really good in this game, too. You yeah. You get a chance to do it. It looks good. Yeah. Or it's like... Uh, on shit. <laughs> How long do we have on this episode? Uh, we're pretty close. Okay, I'm writing this up in another episode. I think it's on. I couldn't remember if we just started an episode. <laughs> nah, we're <laughs> we're pretty close. I was just hoping to actually get somewhere in this level before I fucking ended it. That's a part that made a lot of gamers cry right there. Oh, have to drop down like that? No, just the amount of hooks you gotta do in a row on those lights. Mm. Pull yourself up. God damn it. I keep forgetting that that's the one spot where I keep you, trying to tell you what I was trying to you tell you. You have to fucking grab it and then land it. Ah, oh, fuck. Son of a bitch. You got this. Shut up. At least the bosses are always easy. I think I'm using the rapid fire button again. Well, oh, fuck. <laughs> 